is the speed key. The speed, the speed key is a 300 horsepower E85 tune developed by speed. It's proprietary for the El Jefe, uh, the Bandit, and the Diablo. slipped into second place. Oh shoot. <laughs> he is taking a different line. Max pops out first. Holy crap. No way. Holy crap. You've got to be kidding me. The kid is freaking wild, man. Bye, everybody. Okay, let's see which line he takes. So this is gonna be a, a line in the top speed here. Wins this race right here. Oh my gosh, Max is freaking crushing it. This is a big jump. Oh my gosh. happened so quick I was like oh that just happened and like you know I got out was walking and I was like oh all right we're alive we're we're here yeah and uh you know the car was good I was fine and uh I think it was more of like oh like I was shot in shock like as soon as I like finally got to the bottom of the hill it stopped I was like oh okay and <laughs> you know on seat belts and opened the window on it and got out but then my dad was looping around and gave him the thumbs up and he kept going yeah, a lot of us see you as like our little kid. So, you know, when that happened, I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't see the video until later, but I was happy to see you jump out, give your dad a thumbs up. So, but it looks like the car's in fairly good condition, man. Yeah, the car's actually really good condition. You know, that fender's a little beat up, and the roof, you know, didn't even get smashed. I think I bent the two tie rods, and that was about the most damage. Yeah, there was like a little bit. Oh, and the trailing arm. Was, yeah. Uh, full a little bit, but... Now, have you replaced anything yet? Yeah, just the trailing arm and uh, the tie rods. So what's the? Uh, yeah, I mean it looks. I mean the plastic doesn't even look bent. What's the plan for this car now? I think it became a test car. Well, man, we are glad that you are okay. <laughs> and uh, shoot, man, I mean. This car doesn't have a scratch on it. Everything turned out pretty good. Tie rod's been replaced. So, yeah. Number 12, right? Yep. Number 12 test car. So, my buddy Eli was just taking his car in for an update um, on his car 95. It was just going to take a little while. We went to inspect the car, and Robbie says, drive it. Awesome. Thanks, Max. Yeah. Sure. Go rip it. Come on. All right. Let's do it. You driving or am I? You can drive it. Let's see. Is it going to start? Start right up. Man, it's, yeah. Looking clean. 
All right, Eli, hop in. We're gonna drive the crash car. What's that? You wanna take it for a drive? You can. Yeah, definitely. You're gonna like it. We'll yeah. Take it to the track. You wanna take it for a ride? Yeah. Seriously, you guys. No. Nope. Yeah, we'll just take it down the road. Do it. Okay. Is it an E85 car? Is it really? Nice. A lot of people don't believe that I've driven an E85 car, the Speed Key car, and this is this is one of them. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to have the speed key. So just to show you the difference, I've got the speed key off, or on, I'm gonna turn it off. Speed is black, on, speed is orange. And then it'll show up with your E85 right there, or we're actually running 80%. And right now we're just waiting for the engine oil temp to heat up over uh, 170 so we can party with this car. Go you test it out. You ready to party Let's with the speed this. key? Let's warm these 35s up. Yeah. We're going to check it out. Let's see how it goes. When Eli said, does it have E85? We knew it was a speed car and we were going to be driving the speed key. We were pretty jacked. So we, we pulled it to the front. Brian came out, filled the tank. So we knew we weren't going to run out of gas or anything. And I want to get to that about this car in a little while. All right, so no joke, we got to drive the wrecked car from the Glamis Sand Scramble. This is Max's car that he wrecked. And uh, we were invited to go take it for a rip. And we had a great time. We took it out on the pavement. We took it in the dirt. <laughs> This is just a test car. This and it thing, and it rips. It rips. It is so fast that your your back end starts to have a little too much power. And I'm so excited about the new tank that I'm putting in the El Jefe. Now that I have an auxiliary tank, I want the speed key uh, after I drove it. You don't need all the power, but when you when you want it and to have it, it's it's addicting. You're gonna want it. You're gonna want you're gonna want to have it in four wheel drive. <laughs> you're gonna want to have it in four wheel drive. You're gonna want it. This car freaking rips. Oh, man. Get her right there. Um, again, after the sand scramble, all they did was replace a uh, tie rod and a trailing arm and a shock. But they had this car running really stiff at the sand scramble. Uh, ran, ran perfectly today. We had a really good time with it. According, I mean, we told Robbie that we took it to Tasty Freeze, but it got a little dusty. We took the scenic route. <laughs> and we should have washed it before we came back. But we did. But I forgot. This is the car that, that, take a look around, this is the car that rolled. We just had a great time in it, and shoot. Speed UTV has not released the speed key yet. We still don't know when. Uh, they're still waiting on some certifications. 
so yeah, just keep checking in with Speed and ask them when the Speed Key's coming out. Because I, I really don't know and I, I really don't care. Because I, I like the car the way it is. It's making Pro R power now. Everybody wants more power. The power comes in over 5,000 RPM. Go ahead. You know, when you get up above that, that 5,000 RPMs when you're on a straightaway, it's really good. You really jump from 40 miles an hour to 60, 70 miles an hour really, really fast. Take that power and put it into this heavy beast right here. The speed key is gonna be really awesome for this car with the auxiliary tank and with how light it's gonna make this car feel. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, if you're gonna run the speed key, make sure the braking is where you want it to be. The brakes are really easy to adjust on these cars. Let's talk about reliability. So, you know, I had some conversations with Robbie and with Max, and kind of the way that, the way that I want to lead into this is every aftermarket turbo company, supercharger company, every, every time you run with someone that has a tuned car, they're constantly making adjustments. They're constantly adjusting the boost or constantly making adjustments. This is kind of a, the speed key is a plug and play system. And so it's a little easier, you know, after you flip the switch and all that stuff happens, uh, it's just plug and play. That's it. You fill the car with the E85 and you activate the speed key, which is a key fob uh, that we won't get until the speed key is certified. I feel like the speed key is going to be reliable if you're just not crushing that pedal and trying to get that 300 horsepower for, you know, a solid half an hour straight. In this car, I'm really going to appreciate the speed key just for that little extra power um, that I'll have when I want it. I won't be, you know, putting the pedal all the way to the floor. Um, I'm going to have, you know, a lot more throttle control and just a lot more power when I need it. So I am excited about getting the speed key now. I'm very excited about getting the speed key in this heavy 2600 pound car plus add passengers and all that stuff. I got bigger tires so the speed key is going to be well received in El Jefe. In the Bandit it's going to feel really light. I think in the Diablo it's going to be just right. It's going to be just perfect in the the Diablo. We had a great time. Thanks, Eli. Thank yeah, you, you bet, man. Thank you, Robbie. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll keep on going.